Organic reactions. There are about four different ones that play a major role in, in uh, organic chemistry. And these are the ones you got to know. So here they are. The first type is called substitution. And here's what substitution occurs with. And by the way, substitution reactions about 200 years ago, maybe about 170, were really a major way that chemists finally determined how not just uh, reactions take place in organic chemistry, but in chemistry in general. They were always just trying to figure out how to write formulas properly for different uh, types of reactions. And organic chemistry held the key because of this type of reaction called substitution, which only happens with, that you have to be concerned with, alkanes and benzene rings. So substitution occurs with those two types, with that aromatic and that aliphatic. Here's how it operates. Substitution means quite simply, when these molecules, and by the way, remember, reactions occur because molecules collide with one another. And so if you have a molecule of here, two carbons long, single bond, that's ethane, right? So ethane reacts with bromine, let's say liquid bromine. And we can put that subscript in there, but I'm just lazy right now. So, here we got ethane reacting with bromine. Collision theory tells us that if they collide with the right amount of activation energy, we're going to get a reaction that takes place. And it might be catalyzed by certain things here, and it might be in an elevated temperature situation as well, in order to create a reaction. What's going to happen? You're going to get substitution, where a hydrogen here is going to bump into a bromine, and the bromine, one of the bromines, is going to switch places with the hydrogen. And so what you're going to get, quite simply, is there's your ethane with a bromine on there instead. What comes off? Hydrogen. What attaches to the other bromine? Well, the other hydrogen. So you get HBr. And so now we get two products. That's just hydrogen bromide. What's that right there? Oh, well, look at it. It's ethane with a bromo on it. It's bromoethane. Right. Substitution. You look at this. Chem guy, this is too hard, man. Why? Well, because, look, I can't tell what that is. You know, well, when you get a condensed structural formula like that, you might have to draw it out to make sure that it's got multiple bonds or not. Now look, when you do this one, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3 is saturated. That is, quite simply, butane. So when butane collides with chlorine, you can get a couple of things happen, right? Neither of them would be wrong if you predicted them to happen, but you just have to make sure that you state it properly on an exam. So your teacher's going to say, what forms? And you're going to go, well, this forms. You're going to go that right there, and you're going to put a chlorine on there. But what if you put the chlorine on the second carbon in? Well, then it would be a two-chlorobutane instead of a chlorobutane or a one-chlorobutane. Well, that's perfectly legit. That's okay. Hydrogen chloride also forms in that substitution reaction. It's okay to say which one does which, uh, or it's okay to actually say that it's either a one or a two. That's okay. Um, so as long as you get the idea that it's substitution and you're going to have to take, put one Cl on and take one off. Okay, that's the same one. Take an H off, put a Cl on. Now, look at this one. C6H6 plus I2. Well, I don't know, what is that? I have to draw it out. Now, you just got to remember that C6H6 tells you right away that's benzene. And so, really, that is this, right? A benzene ring. And if you're going to do substitution, the benzene ring has hydrogens at every one of these little points here, which are carbons. And if a collision occurs, it usually is a substitution of an H with, in this case, an I. You can put the I on anywhere you want, plus HI, hydrogen iodide comes off, and what would that be? Well, that's an iodo on a benzene. That's iodobenzene. 